In the beginning man created God, and in the image of man created he him. And man gave unto God a multitude of names, that he might be Lord over all the earth, when it was suited to man. And on the seven millionth day man rested, and did lean heavily on his God, and saw that it was good. And man formed Aqualung, of the dust of the ground, and a host of others, likened unto his kind. And these lesser men man did cast into the void, and some were burned, and some were put apart from their kind. And man became the god that he had created, and with his miracles did rule over the earth. But as all these things did come to pass, the spirit that did cause man to create his god lived on within all men, even within Aqualung. And man saw it not, but for Christ's sake he'd better start looking. So my last video covered 15 of your top surround album picks, and I thought it would be fun to do a series of those albums properly reviewed, plus my own top 15. There's some overlap there, but I also have some albums to share that were not chosen by committee. So today's discussion is Aqualung, 40th anniversary deluxe version. Why Aqualung? Why not? Uh, Thick as a Brick, or maybe even Songs from the Wood. There are lots of Jethro Tull favorites that have fortunately received this uh, deluxe booklet treatment. And um, Stephen Wilson 5.1 mix of the album and often associated recordings. And if there was a classic quad, you get the flat transfer of said LP. But why Aqualung? Um, I'm going to say it's just because of the sheer familiarity for me of the, of the songs. And I happen to like them, so that helps. Uh, the title track, Cross-Eyed Mary, Wondering Aloud, My God, Hymn 43, Locomotive Breath, and a very nice album conclusion with Wind Up. Jethro Tull claimed that this was not a concept album. But as with the poem that I read at the beginning of this video, uh, many of the songs do focus on like a man-god relationship, and I think in particular like the depravity of man, um, our capacity for evil, and just to be sort of twisted and perverse maybe. Sitting on the park bench But um, I think they are correct in the sense that this album does not have a completely unifying theme throughout each and every song. I would say it's a concept album on the level of like David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust. That some of the songs definitely feel like they relate to a topic or theme or maybe even a story, but just not completely conceived that way. Now, famously, they went on with their next album to um, create a concept album uh, in an attempt to make fun of the genre, but it ended up being like an all-time great concept record. So good on them. All right, so what do you get in this uh, 40th anniversary edition? You not only get the album and associated recordings on CDs, but you also get a Stephen Wilson 5.1 remix on DVD, uh, DTS 96, 24, it is lossy, but it does sound pretty damn good to my ears. The Stephen Wilson 5.1 remix was released earlier on Blu-ray, but uh, that Blu-ray has had some problems. There are some pops and clicks, I believe, in the quad mix, and some people are experiencing what they call Blu-ray Blu rot, where the disc clouds and becomes unplayable. So I'm happy that I have my DVDs. They are playing just fine. You get the flat transfer of the quad LP on the second DVD along with the Life is a Long Song EP in stereo. A lot of associated recordings in stereo and 5.1, a promo video. And uh, this book is pretty nifty. You get some history of the album. You get some interviews with the personnel, um, not only the uh, players but also some of the producers. You get a write-up on the studio that they worked in, Island Studio, 
and um, you get a brief blurb from Stephen Wilson about doing the surround mix and you get the master tape boxes and some of the notes that were used at the studio and I always love that kind of thing as you know if you've seen enough of these videos. So these deluxe sets are a tremendous value. I do wish that the surround mixes were lossless um, aka on Blu-ray but they are keeping the price down at least the initial retail price. Um, once these things are out of print they become pretty expensive but you know for what you get uh, surround mixes, stereo content, a lot of bonus content, um, often you get concert footage if it's available. These Jethro Tull deluxe sets are an awesome value. Now would I love to see Jethro Tull maybe put out all of Stephen Wilson's 5.1 mixes in like a Blu-ray set someday, uh, sort of like Rhino Records does with Quadio? Of course, that would be absolutely amazing, but to be perfectly honest, the DTS 9624 mixes that you get here just sound fantastic to me and I would be shocked if the Blu-ray were that much of an improvement. Um, probably somewhat of an improvement, but for me music is all about whether I enjoy it or not and I absolutely enjoy the Stephen Wilson 5.1 Jethro Tull mixes on DVD. <laughs> 5.1 standouts from the associated recordings would include My God and Wind Up and Wandering Aloud Again. You get alternate takes, and I realize that those um, songs are all from the album, but it is a different take, a different run through, so it's very cool to get that alternate experience. And also, two of the songs from the Life's a Long Song EP are mixed into 5.1 and I also include those as standouts as well. From the album I'd have to say that the absolute jaw-dropping moment of the album is during My God when you have multiple Ian Anderson flute overdubs and multiple Ian Anderson lead vocal overdubs and possibly some of the other band members in kind of a choir effect fuguing around the room like it is incredible. <laughs> listen to a snippet from Just the Surrounds right here. And now let's take a look at Stephen Wilson's basic approach to the album. Mr. Wilson has the drums mostly placed up front, with kick, snare, and hi-hat centered as you would expect, but the drums do come out into the room a bit certainly not being anchored to the front wall, and especially certain cymbal sounds are panned quite a ways out into the surrounds. You have Ian Anderson's lead vocal mainly isolated to the center channel, but occasionally echoes do come out into the surrounds. Rhythm guitars are often up in the fronts, but are sometimes in the surrounds if they're the main accompaniment. Sometimes there are rhythm guitars up front with electric overdubs in the surrounds. The surrounds are also the hangout for strings, piano, organ, and other keys, as well as flute overdubs. And at times he does differ from this approach, it just depends on what the song needed at the moment. And so why bother with surround? Like what's the point, you know? Isn't stereo good enough? Well one of the benefits is you get this unlayering effect and you get to hear things in albums. Even if you've heard it tons of times, you're going to discover new things and that definitely is the case for me with Aqualung. A lot of these sets are out of print, and so I do wonder if they'll ever be reissued so that um, more people can enjoy them affordably. Like I said, I also wonder if Stephen Wilson's Jethro Tull mixes will ever come out in Blu-ray. That would be incredible. And will Jethro Tull ever receive the Atmos remix treatment, either on a streaming service or maybe even on Blu-ray? I hear that Steven Wilson has Atmos capability at his studio now, so maybe so. That would be awesome. I'd love to hear A and Broadsword and Atmos for one thing, and these other classic albums as well. So that's about it for now. If you appreciate what I do and haven't already, please subscribe and ring the notification bell, like this video, 
leave your comments below. Let me know what your favorite Jethro Tull in Surround is so far. Either a particular song, or an album, or a series of albums, a list of albums. I appreciate interacting with you. I hope that you're enjoying Jethro Tull and Surround just as much as I am. I'm not sure where exactly in my top 15 Aqualong rates, but it definitely is there, as well as some of the other Jethro Tull titles that I've heard so far. Thick as a Brick, Songs from the Wood, Heavy Horses, War Child, and some of the others as well. We're incredibly fortunate to be getting these deluxe sets, and I hope you're enjoying them as much as I do. Look forward to hearing from you, and until next time, live life in surround.